Hello, this is Josh with Bedbug Supply. A couple of weeks ago, we sat down and explored whether or not salt can be used to kill bedbugs. The conclusion we came up with was pretty simple. It can't. Even though a lot of people talk online about using salt as part of a bedbug treatment, the fact is that there is no scientific evidence that salt can kill bedbugs. Now, salt is just one of many household items that we hear about as a cheap and simple alternative to professional bedbug treatment products. We get calls all the time from people asking about essential oils, borax, vinegar, and another item that is found in almost every home, baking soda. So let's try and answer a common question that we see on the phone and we see online. Can baking soda kill bed bugs? There are a couple of theories making their way through online discussions that support using baking soda in a bed bug treatment. Probably the most common argument for baking soda is its natural absorption ability which is what allows baking soda to suck up that musty smell from refrigerators and old books. Since bed bugs rely on a waxy layer of fluid on their shell to stay hydrated, the theory is that baking soda can absorb those surface fluids and cause the bed bugs to dehydrate. This sounds awfully similar to how silica-based materials like diatomaceous earth actually work when they come in contact with bed bugs. An absorbent material like diatomaceous earth has an easy time clinging to that thick viscous wax on a bed bug shell and slowly sucking away at that fluid causing the bed bug to die in a day or two on average. Unfortunately, baking soda's absorption is very different from that of diatomaceous earth or silica gel. Baking soda doesn't absorb fluids much, if at all. It actually breaks down in bodies of water very easily, so its ability to absorb thick, viscous fluids like the wax on a bed bug shell is pretty questionable. The absorption properties of baking soda are mostly limited to odors and certain acidic chemicals. Let's call that strike one for baking soda. <coughs> Theory number two is that baking soda is so abrasive that it can cut open bed bug shells, causing damage between the skin as if they had been pierced or sliced open with a blade. Once open wounds are created, any bed bug would be susceptible to internal bleeding, infection, or dehydration due to fluid loss. This sounds an awful lot like what some claim that diatomaceous earth does, since it's also very abrasive and looks like it has sharp edges when viewed through a microscope. However, the cutting effect of diatomaceous earth is a bit exaggerated. Diatomaceous earth cuts into a bed bug's shell, yeah, but not by very much. It mostly just sticks itself in far enough to stay on the bed bug while it moves around. No fine powder will pierce a bed bug enough to cause any real injury. So that's strike two on the baking soda scoreboard. <coughs> the final theory we'll discuss, and possibly the most absurd, is that baking soda will kill bed bugs in the same way that it's believed to kill cockroaches. The idea is that when cockroaches eat baking powder, a chemical reaction in their body causes rapid gas buildup, and their internal organs will quickly burst. Now, there are two problems with this theory. First, bed bugs don't eat dry items in their environment like roaches do. They feed exclusively on blood, and they're not going to mix up baking soda for human flesh. They don't even have mouths capable of opening enough to ingest solid crystals like baking soda. Second, even though this exploding roach myth has been around for a long time, I can't seem to find any scientific studies or other evidence that baking soda causes a chemical reaction in roaches at all. This seems to just be an old wives' tale that has made its way from roaches to bed bugs. So that's three strikes, and baking soda is out. None of the theories we discussed pan out in favor of baking soda doing anything to harm bed bugs, and there are no professional tests or other scientific evidence to help the case. This whole desire to use cheap household items to treat bed bugs is a pain point for us at Bedbug Supply. It's not that we don't want you to save money by using low cost stuff you already have around the house. The problem is that we never hear about these treatments working. You see, time is a huge factor when dealing with bed bugs because they reproduce and they spread so quickly. So, wasting valuable time on these home remedies is a lot more harmful than you might think. So, skip the baking soda, skip the salt. Skip the eucalyptus oil, the borax. All that stuff will do is stall you from starting a real bed bug treatment. If you want to get rid of bed bugs, leave that stuff in the cupboard, visit us at bedbugsupply.com, or give us a call toll free at 866 238 9868. Again, this is Josh with bedbugsupply.com.